Okay guys, we are so excited to show you this space. We've gotten so many letters and emails about what to do if you're in a rental property. And the other thing that we've gotten a lot of uh, letters about is what to do when you wanna make your daughter's room look amazing, but you don't wanna have to redecorate it again in five years. I understand because I have been in a rental property and I have decorated my daughter's room one time. And this is it. This is her room when we were living in LA. We were in a rental property. We knew we were only gonna be in LA for 18 months. And so how did we make this look amazing without breaking the bank? We weren't allowed to paint the walls, but even if we had been allowed to paint the walls, I didn't even wanna spend the money to do this, but I still wanted this room to feel very colorful. And as you can see, it really had nothing going for it architecturally and the walls were builder's beige. So here is how we worked with a rental property and how we stretched a dime. The first thing when you're in a rental property and you know that you can't paint the walls is try to get huge oversized art that just really injects some color into the room, especially if you want the room to feel bright and cheerful for a little girl or a little boy. These prints were my mother's, it's her family dairy farm, but I also linked you to some similar prints that are vintage. And I love vintage prints just because in a way they feel kind of timeless to me. They never look trendy and I just think they're so chic. So this gave the room a huge hit of color right off the bat. And then I brought in these cute curtains and that actually added even more color to the room and I didn't really worry about the fact that these all weren't paint by number. You know that I love spaces to feel like they evolved over time. And I thought this coral was so cute mixed with these greens and blues. And then we found this all weather rug, which is fantastic for kids. I don't even want to tell you what has happened on this rug and it's happened more than once. <laughs> and all you do is wipe that up with soap and water, done. And it, it just stands the test of time. And it also really began to continue this pattern play that we were working with, but also is very economical. And this rug is going to look precious when she's older because we can kind of morph the, the, the scheme around it. And I could picture this with just really simple greens and whites if she doesn't want to have so much pink when she's a teenager. And then just to kind of keep the play of pattern going, we found these fun bins to hold her toys, this great coverlet and shams, and we threw those all together to just have this cacophony of color without it feeling paint by number. I think that's so fun. But the other way to really stretch a dime and make sure that things are gonna look good in any house and in any decade, when you're picking pieces like a bed or a dresser, Try to find things to really buy the best you can afford. Find something that's built really well, built to last. And if you can spend a little bit more money on those, that will, believe it or not, save you money in the long run because you're not gonna have to replace the bed or the drawers of the dresser aren't gonna shift on you. With pieces like this upholstered chair in a children's or a child's space, that's where I really try to buy the least expensive thing I can afford. This chair is one of my secret weapons. I love it, I've used it so many times for different clients in their children's rooms. And it's got this great tufted back that's in these different pattern buttons. And it is so cheap. It's so well priced. And right after we bought this, a Sharpie managed to write their name on it. And it wasn't a big deal because it was so inexpensive that I didn't flip my lid as a mother. And then try to find you know accessories that really are gonna stand the test of time. I love picking pillows for children that have the name of the state where they were born or the name of the state where you know their dad went to college or their mom went to college, things like that. It feels like it's a little bit more grown up when you're a six year old and then when you're a 13 year old, you still think it looks cool. So they kind of evolve with your child, but we love this space. We had such a blast pulling it together and I hope you guys can embrace wherever you're living, whether it's a rental or uh, some place where you're stationed just temporarily, you can make it look amazing no matter what your budget and then pick pieces that are really going to grow with your child and that way you're kind of spending money once. Anyway, we hope you have a blast recreating this in your own house and please don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Flawless Design for All.